Sponsored by True Tech Tools. Quality tools, essential support. TrueTechTools.com. Good morning, YouTube. This video I wanted to do a short comparison of the Testo 510 and the Testo 510i. The first thing that you would notice is that the 510 is a little bit wider and a little bit longer than the 510 itself. If I said that right, the Testo 510i is big is longer but narrower than the 510. And that's actually just the case. Um, so if we were going to compare top to top, we'd be like that. If you take the protective cover off, it exposes the screen. And this one obviously has no screen. The, d the display on this one makes actually this device cost about $50 more than the 510 with no display. This 510i actually makes a lot of sense as a tool option over this one because I paid 150 bucks for this and this was under $100. Both pretty straightforward. Let me fire up the app and show you this one and um, we'll compare to this one here in a minute. So we've got our smart probe on and we're going to go into Testo smart probes. Come over here to the basic view. That's what we've got for the reading on this device. So right now we're reading in M-bar, millibar. We're going to go to pressure setting. We're going to go ahead and zero pressure setting. And it's still on M-bar and I'm having a little bit of trouble. There we go. M-bar. Inches of water. There we go. So now we're zeroed. That is your basic view for any one probe. If I had more than one probe connected right now, I would show additional information below or above that. You can hit the button up there on the left where it says Testo 510i and you could select which device you're looking at but obviously since we only have that one connected right now that's your basic view and if I go ahead and tie to the negative side or the minus side we immediately start feeling a difference actually that's kinked so hold on a second so the hose was kinked now it's wide open and we're reading atmosphere so I sucked on the probe and it showed a pretty high negative so that's kind of nice that it's got that resolution option I'm gonna switch over to the positive side blow on it a little bit and it shows a change there I'm gonna put a suction on the positive side and it shows negative negative. and I'm gonna put a positive pressure on the negative side and it shows negative so that's kind of nice I am not set up at the moment to show you a differential pressure comparison on that, but that's your basic run through of the Testo 510i. So here's the 510. It has taken one heck of a beating, and you can see that it's warped. Obviously, it's been warm at one time. So I'm going to do the same basic comparison there. So I'm going to tie to the negative pressure side and I'll give it a suction. It shows a positive suction on the negative side. It reads low if I put positive pressure on the negative side and then if I take the positive side it reads positive pressure, positive pressure and it reads low on the negative pressure. Now, one thing that I'm noticing right now, I've still got the other 510 connected, and you see that one's got a creep of two one hundredths, three one hundredths. This one is also starting to creep a little bit. So there is that that you have to worry a little bit about creeping 
I don't know how many guys are running the 510, but I've run this one and had trouble with it creeping up ever since I had it. I don't think that that's something that we're going to be able to get rid of. And it's kind of disappointing that the 510 seems to have the same issue. But zeroing the 510, you simply press the little arrow button and it'll zero out. If you were going to zero the 510i, you saw that on the screen. Uh, hit the little gear and zero the device. So that's a quick comparison between the 510 and the 510i. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, comment, share. And don't forget that if you use the coupon code RARBID at truetechtools.com at checkout, you get a $10 off, a $10 purchase or more. We'll see you on the next one. Yeah.